Let's say you're trying to teach your students how to write a critical analysis essay, and you even let them use AI. This isn't so shocking in 2024, but what is shocking is when you get a stack of no effort put in, copy pasted straight from ChatGPT essays on your desk, and you now have to review them and grade them, and your students have learned nothing. Where did you go wrong? Hi, my name is Stannis, and today I want to talk to you about why you should teach your students how to human AI generated essays so that their critical analysis is actually critical and how to do it. Right now, you might be thinking, well, if they're using AI anyway, what does it matter if they humanize it or not? It was still done by AI and not them. But with AI everywhere, we believe that teaching our students how to work with it rather than rely on it in everything is the right approach. You see, AI doesn't have a mind of its own. Sure, it can do the work write sentences, analyze texts, and respond to your questions. But you need to lead it to get any meaningful results. Otherwise, it just doesn't write critical or concise essays. You need to be an expert yourself. You're like a conductor. If you don't hear that the second violin is out of tune with the rest of the orchestra, or that the drums are behind on tempo, no one will correct it in your place. You will just produce subpar music. To produce an outstanding result with AI, you need to know what a great result looks like and how it's different from a mediocre one. To make an excellent critical analysis with AI. The student must be able to envision it clearly from basic structure to the analytical process and to be able to write it themselves if need be. AI is just empowering them to do it faster, include more information and have a wider scope of abilities. And that's what you must teach them. How to properly use AI responsibly in a way that gives them more opportunities in the future, not less. It's about teaching students to work with the tools, not having the tools do the work for them. Okay, so what does humanizing AI content actually mean? It's not just making it feel human-like, which is really hard to define. It's first and foremost about thoroughly reviewing and editing high-quality writing generated by AI, elevating the generated text by putting intention and purpose behind it. In the future, everyone will have unlimited access to AI tools, but a lot fewer will have the insight and knowledge to channel that power meaningfully. Now, there are many ways you can go about humanizing AI-generated content. There's humanize.ai. You can prompt ChatGPT directly and many other solutions that often prioritize hiding the AI nature of the text instead of elevating its value and uniqueness. We'll be using BoodleBox, a purpose-built AI tool for professors, which we believe is not only a great instrument for humanizing the generated content, but also a space to communicate with your students in group chats and teach them during the process. It's a platform where your students can submit their prompt threads alongside their assignments so you can review how they achieved their final results, their learning process with AI, and where they applied their critical analysis skills and where they were supported by the AI. BoodleBox also has a research assistant bot, an essay writing tutor bot, and even an art critic, all to help you create your essay. Unlike a new thread with ChatGPT or Claude, you don't need to do any extra prompting when you're speaking to the writing assistant tutor bot. You don't have to tell it to ask you questions or that it's an expert in writing essays. It already has all of that information preloaded. You just need to start the conversation and tell it what you need. For that, we'll open a new chat in BoodleBox in the top left corner by pressing this plus sign. Or you can just press Ctrl plus B. Then we mention the essay writing bot directly. Now let's give it a prompt. Help me write a critical analysis essay. The bot will ask you a few questions. Okay, so it's taking in that prompt and giving you an answer. Let's write a critical analysis essay on a climate change article by Greenly. As an example, climate change in 2024, where do we stand? We'll download the article from their website and attach it to the knowledge base in the top right corner. It's right here. Now let's ask the bot to write a critical analysis of this article. Please write a critical analysis of the article Climate Change in 2024 that I just attached to the chat. Okay, here it goes, here it goes. 
it gave us a pretty good initial draft. Now let's go through some humanization prompts to make it even better. First of all, we want AI to use simple human language. Let's give it a prompt about that. Please use simple human language and send. Okay, okay, we can see it's already much easier to read. The words are simpler and the phrases a lot less verbose. Secondly, we want to make the essay fit our own style and tone. You can attach documents with your other essays to the knowledge base and tell the bot to analyze your writing style and tone. Then let's ask it to output the findings and bullet points. Now we can ask the bot to use these findings. Rewrite the critical analysis essay to fit the tone and style you summarized in the bullet points. Okay, as you can see, it is a completely different essay now. It is written differently, it's using our style and our tone, so it's really cool. You should go through the essay carefully and ask the bot to get rid of any phrases you don't like or add ideas that you think it missed. There is no limit to how much you can shape the AI-generated writing to be a true representation of your own expertise. And when your students submit their entire chats in Box and show you how much they've learned about what makes a good essay and how to lead an AI model to perfect it, which is not that different from directing the work of another human being, by the way, you can make sure that they're learning valuable skills that will be indispensable in their future life. So that's it. I hope you've learned something useful and will be able to help your students carve out a meaningful future future for themselves using AI tools. Drop a like, subscribe, and if you want to learn more about the role of AI in higher education, check out this playlist right here. See you in the next one.